Okay, so my name is Mtwana, and you know you FaceTime here. Uh, welcome back. You know, just welcome if you FaceTime, but if you returning home, welcome back. So this question comes from uh, one of the parents. Say, hey, Mtwana, Mtwana, um, uh, she's writing tomorrow. And please have this question because you know, she's been stressing a lot, and you know I don't like to see my daughter stressing. So please, Mtwana, help. So yeah, I'm helping you, mom. No problem. It's what I do. Let's get started. So now the question here say, uh, is a question, man. So let's see here. Uh, uh, let's see. Look, Bootle, want to save this amount here, three hundred thirty twenty-four to eighty-four within the next four years. Okay. So we have a time. Our time, which you can represent using n, equal to four. That's right here. So what time equal for n? Equal to four. N, which is the time, it's gonna be four. So n equal to four, excuse me, n equal to four, and then they say here, okay, n equal to four. Now, but she make equal monthly deposit. Okay, let me tell you something. Okay, whenever they say equal monthly, equal payment, equal monthly, equal payment for the most case, it could be equal payment. This word is very, very, let me highlight like this with a green, maybe you can remember. Equal deposit whenever they mention not all the time but for the most case when they say eco payment eco deposit then quickly just pick it up either you're gonna do as a present value formula or future value formula see what i'm saying which i'm gonna write to you now okay keep in mind so the future value formula present value formula not all the time but this is tricky because method is a tricky okay so oh and they have mentioned here they have just say equal monthly payment at the end of each month. Oh, each, each, each. Okay. Starting one month and her saving accumulated. Oh, so we have an interest rate. So our interest rate, what is the interest rate? Our interest rate, sometimes they represent by using I or some books that you represent using what? R. So either the two, I or R. Okay, so let's just say R or I equal to 12.5. 12. Five percent. So now we go. Then they say. They say here the per annum compounded monthly. Oh, so if they say compounded monthly, how many months in one year? Twelve. Oh, so compounded we can represent using what m? So you're gonna how many them there? Twelve. Because compounded monthly, how many months in one year? Twelve. But if they could have say it was compounded daily, so what you do every time whatever they're gonna say, ask yourself. If they say it's just compounded daily, ask yourself, okay, how many days in one year? Then we was gonna say m equal to three hundred and sixty-five if it was daily. So you gotta pay attention. It was compounded annually, but what is annual? Annual means one year. Means if they say it was compound, it means if this was not, you see, this compounded is very very important. But for now, it's compounded monthly. But if they say it was compounded annually, how many annual one year? Annual means one year. Means this m could have been, which was me. It was going to be one if they say it was compounded uh half annually what is half annual means it was going to be two you know why because one year and then you split by two because half annual if they say it's the second thing because some they're not going to ask you like this all the time it was compounded uh every two months so what you do you ask yourself how many two months in one year how many two months in one year? Six. So this M was going to be what? Six. And the last one, it was compounded, which is very common. It was compounded quarter, quarter. So they say it was compounded quarter means how many quarter in one year? Four. So this M will be what? Be, be four. If it's quarter. See? It was compounded. Uh, so you need to know that quick, okay? So now, uh, but for this case here now, But for this case now, they just say it was compounded monthly. So how many months in one year? There, 12. Now let's go. So now for that case now, since they say there was equal payment. Oh, so equal payment tell me I'm going to apply what either future or present. Now, which one I'm going to apply? Present or future? Now, let's read here. They say, Bootle, want to save. So she don't have something, but she want to save this amount. So she don't have it. So that's going to be the future value. So for that case, we're going to use all the future value formula because she don't have the money. But 
if you have in a situation where they say, uh, Mutwana Obutle, uh, Mutwana Nkosi, he went to take a loan, means loan I have money with me, then I was going to apply what? Present value formula. Because I want to take a loan, I have money with me, so that was going to apply using present value formula. See? So, and then, but they must make sure equal payment involved than present value formula. But if it's not that, it's not. so in this case, now they say, uh, Butler want to save this amount, so she want to save. So she don't have the money, so it's going to be future value formula. And then here they mention equal payment. So equal payment tell me, oh, is the future or present? But for this case, the future because of that, she want to save, she don't have the money. So let's apply the future value formula. The future value formula say, uh, so we're going to say future value formula say, uh, uh, future value, or we can simply right here, say future value formula equal. So we're going to say, uh, here you write equal payment, which you represent by X. X we can represent using equal payment every month, or you can use other letter, but for most cases, X. And then you write your bracket here, and then you put your bracket, say interest one plus interest rate, but you can represent using I or other. So let's pick uh, I. And always divide by how it was compounded, which is 12. And the, your interest rate must be divided by how it was compounded. But for this case, it was 12. And then you close, and then you multiply by number of years. But how many number of years? So let's write the formula first, which is going to be N. N. But do not, you see the same thing you divide here? You must also multiply here by that N everywhere. So let me see it again. Okay. So we will say here, divide by compounded. No, 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 let me write like this. I think that is going to be more, more clear. Okay. I plus interest rate. And then multiply by number of years for now. And I'll show you how it's come about. And then you minus by one. And then you divide by your interest rate. But now, look at this. So this is your formula for future value. But whenever there's interest rate, make sure you divide it by how it was compounded. So here I must divide it by m and here when there's interest rate must divide by m but also in a time you see here in time also you must but the same thing you divide here you must multiply us so that's a tricky with the future value and present value see so we're going to say now so we can plug it in so plug in a formula just simple like that so we're going to plug in a formula so we have a lot of things here future value we have already because they say she's going to save this amount means the future value we have it so I can simply plug in a formula, okay, plug in a formula, it's okay, so our future value we have, what is the future value, 33, let me use another color here, so it's not going to confuse, okay, let's use a green for example, or now let's use a red, so 30, because future value we have 33, equal x, do you know x? Because what is the question here? They say, uh, she's going to make equal monthly payment. Now, they say the size of each monthly payment, which we don't know, which represent by X. The X represent equal month payment. And then we put your bracket. And then we say, write your bracket over there. Okay, write your bracket. Let's move the calculator quick, just a second. So we can have a space here. Okay, there yeah, is okay. Okay. And then we're going to say here, 1 is 1 plus uh, our I. What is I? Our interest is equal to 12.5. 12.5. So I said 12.5. But a percent meaning of 100. But do not forget also multiply by this M. Because this is I, all of it is this. But I multiply here at the denominator by M. M must be at the denominator. Do not forget that. What is the M? M equal to 12 because it was compounded monthly. And then n, what is the n? n equal to how many years? Four. Because it was four years. Four years somewhere. Mm, four years, I can see. Yeah, this one, four years here. So we're going to say multiply by n. n is four years. And then whenever there's an n, also you must multiply by how it was compounded, which is what? To 12, then minus by 1. You close and then you divide by interest rate. What is your interest rate? We know interest rate equal to 12.5. Over 100, and then you multiply the denominator by m. What is our m? At the denominator. Our m, which is compounded monthly. That's all. So, what you can do now, look. Oh man, my goodness, sorry. Sorry, sorry. It has to be like this. Because there's an equal sign here. 
So the line has to be no, no, I'm wrong here. So I didn't look my line. Okay, it has to be because the line is on a right. So like here, here there's nothing because there's equal sign. So divide by interest rate. Our interest rate is twelve because divided by this twelve over how it was compounded, which is twelve. Twelve percent, which is interest rate, twelve percent per five, and then divide by hundred because percent meaning hundred. And then you must multiply here by how to compound, which is 12. So what we're going to do now, we're going to plug all of this in the calculator and get one value. And if you plug in the calculator now, plug in the calculator, everything slow. Okay, let me show you some people that might not know how to plug in the calculator. So, man, how did you do that? Okay, look. So I'm going to and say, okay, erase, okay. Okay, let's plug in the calculator. So we're gonna say fraction, fraction, let's say one. Let me just move it. Okay, we say one. Okay, so now we go uh, bracket, bracket. So me, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start with all this numerator, the numerator. Okay, say, so let me just cancel again. And they say, uh, cancel everything. Excuse me, sorry. Okay, come in. Okay, I'm gonna say of um excuse me. second. Okay, plug it in now. So we're gonna say one 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 plus plus and then we come here we say fraction. I should have put my bracket here face when I start. Fraction one one Okay, come here. Say fraction 12.5, 12, 12.5, 12, 12, 12, 12, and then divide. Common denominator divided by 100. 100, and then times by 12, right there, times by 12. And then come here, close. Close. Okay. Fraction, okay. Uh, here is 12 also. Put your bracket. And say fraction. Fraction 12.5, 12, 12.5. 12, 12, Point five and then over. I'm still gonna put my power there right over hundred. Then multiply by twelve. By twelve and then come here and then close. Close. Okay. Now let's go to the top. Okay, and they must put power there. Power. And they are uh, four times, so we can say simply another bracket four times twelve, four times twelve, times twelve, times twelve, times twelve quick, okay? Close and then there we come. Right to the right, there will minus one, and then yeah, simple like that. So let's get an answer. So if you put this in the calculator, it's going to give sixty-one point eight seven if you approximate. Okay, so this is going to give us uh, sixty-five point eight seven. So we can see that sixty-five point eight seven if you approximate. So it's going to be our here all of this stuff is sixty-five point eight seven. So I can simply raise this side. I can say sixty-five point eight seven instead of that stuff there. Okay, so this is going to be 65. So here we're going to multiply by 65.87. We can put bracket. So, and equal to that, like this what we have. So we want to get the value of x. How are we going to get x? Means divided by 65.87 on both sides. Here it's going to be 60. 61.87, I'm sorry. 61.87. 61.87. So 1.87. So divide by 61.87 throughout 61.87 and here 61.87. This in this cancel. So on the right, you left with x equal. If you plug all this in the calculator, it's gonna give you uh 53. Check all the top divided by 61.87. And the value of x is gonna because this in this cancel is gonna give us on the x equal to when the calculator that's gonna give us 53. Five three three, uh, five three, eight four nine, which is this option here. See what I'm saying? So that's gonna be our option. You see? So if you face some here, please just make sure you subscribe, share this video to a lot of people, and hey, mom, the parents of 
student who sent me the question. Yes, we have got the solution, even though it was slowly, because I don't want to rush, because sometimes I want to rush quick. Students tend not to understand. But thank you so much for your time, mom, parents, uh, and students. Send me the question. Don't feel shy. Leave comments below if this video was helpful. Thanks a lot. Of peace, mom.